Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and this time I'm going to install these 25mm spacers on my Magnaride Mustang. Stay tuned. So checking out YouTube videos and forums, people say that you cannot fit wheel spacers to the Magnaride car, especially on the front because the front wheel with the stud is way too long. So in this video, I'm going to show you why you apparently can't fit the spacers on a Magnaride car and also how you can get around that. So if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm very close to that 1000. In fact, I might have just gone by it now because it was very close to the last video that I did. Uh, but please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Let's crack on. So first things first, as usual, jack the car up, get the wheels off. So let me show you why, as it stands, you don't seem to be able to fit wheel spacers onto these Magnaride cars. So this is obviously my front wheel, these are the wheel studs. Here is a 25mm spacer. So if I now want to put that on there, like so. Now, what you've got here is about 10mm of thread protruding. So when these nuts go onto those and lock it in, you're gonna have 10mm pushing the wheel away from the spacer. Now, some of you might say, well, the back of your wheel, you've got cut towers on the back of your wheel, so what's your problem? Let me show you my wheels. So these were the wheels that came with my car as standard. And if I turn them around, you can actually see that I do not have cutouts. I've got one there and I've got one there and I've got one there. I think some of the wheels that you guys may have, have got recesses in between these stud holes all the way around, or well, mine haven't. So what that means is, uh, factory wise, I can't just put 25 mil spacers on here and then fit the wheels back on because they won't work in this instance. So what I see is I've got three options. Option number one is to cut off the wheel studs, make them shorter so that when I put this on, it bolts up correctly. Option number two is that we take all this apart and we smack out these original wheel studs and we try and get hold of some ones that are at 10 mil shorter and replace it with those. And option number three is that I drill into the back of my wheel and create the recesses for these studs to sit in. So to be honest, I'm not happy with any of those options really. Um, reason being that uh, option number one to, to cut off the studs means I can't just remove the spacers and pop the wheels back on. I've really kind of ruined the car from being able to just take the standard wheels that came with it anymore, which I don't want to do. And option number two is to hammer out the existing studs and put in smaller ones. It's really the same problem as the first option. I won't be able to just put the standard wheels back on without having to put the studs that I took off back in again. So to me, I think the only option I have is option number three, which is to drill the recesses in the back of the wheel. And I think that's the option I'm gonna go for in this video. So to start with what I've done, I've laid the wheel on a bench and I've laid the spacer just inside the wheel and lined it up as best as I can with the original cutouts that are there. So it's the same amount poking out the side of each cutout. And then I've drawn a circle through. There's these two I need to cut out fully and these three that I've got the slot in them, I'm going to have to um, somehow sand the edge down and I might have a tool just to do that but let me have a look see if it works. So there it is marked up now so as I say I've got two holes to drill there and I've got to take the edges of these off so what I think I'm going to start with is see if I can take the edge of that off with this tool that I've got and because uh, if that doesn't work then there's no way I can drill that with it being a slot so let me get my tool and let me try that and this is a tool I'm going to use let's see if it does the trick So actually, I think it might work. Um, the metal is quite soft and it is managing to get through it. So I think I should be able to get that to a depth of uh, sort of 10, 20 mil, which will then be able to take the, uh, the head of the stud. So let's crack on and do the others. So 
So that's got these three pretty well sunken in now. We might need a bit more off, but um, I can tile fit them and see how it goes. So now we need to uh, punch these and drill these. I'll drill them with a small drill first, then follow with a bigger drill. So I've marked the drill with a bit of tape at um, the 25 mil, just under 25 mil point. So when I get close to the tape, I need to stop. Okay, let's try the first test fit on the car. So first attempt, uh, definitely nowhere near. So you can see the thread sticking through there. So uh, let's get it off and let's give it a bit more work. 20 minutes later. Okay, after assessing the situation then and looking at it, I'm going to need a lot bigger drills than what I've got to actually get the hole correctly in the back there, um, which I haven't got that. So I think I'm going to go back to on the other options. I think I'm going to cut the studs and uh, and just fit it that way because once these spacers are on i don't think i'll be taking them off and if i really really do have to take them off then i'll just go buy some of the original studs and then we'll just pop them in they're not that hard to get in and out anyway so i think that's what i'm going to do so let's go measure up and get ready for to cut the studs down so i've just put the spacer on fitted a couple of the actual bolts in there and what i'm going to do now is use a piece of card i'm going to go from the head of the bolts and measure to the top of the actual stud. So now I know that I need to take that much off the head of the actual stud. coming long and hard with the axle so I decided to uh, use the angle grinder and just cut them off. So they're now ready so now let's fit the space. Chalk them down 30 foot pounds it says in the instructions. So 30 didn't seem tight enough to me so I've gone round and given them a, a good tightening so they should never come off now. So let me go do the other side and I'll get back to you. A few moments later. So that's the other side now done. So let's get these wheels back on and get it off the axle stands. And not forgetting to torque the wheels to the correct torque of 150 foot pounds. All done. Check this out. YouTube, I've now done everything that I wanted to do to the suspension on this. So if you remember in previous video, I've lowered the suspension, I fit the IRS bushing kit to stabilize the IRS at the back there. I've now put my front wheel spaces on, the backs don't need it because they're pretty flush with the actual rear, rear wheel lights, so I don't need to put any space on the back. So this car is now complete on all its suspension type mods. Now the next stage for this, obviously I can hear you shout in the screen, is you need to get a wheel alignment. That's in the next video. We're off back to MOT7 where they've just bought one of the state-of-the-art latest version of a wheel alignment machine. So I'm going to take you through the process of a wheel alignment and how it all works and what they do, etc. That'll be in the next video on this Mustang. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then please subscribe to this channel if you like this particular video. And please give me that thumbs up. Till next time, stay safe.